Okay, so phase one was developing technical proficiency. Phase two is establishing a strength base, that level of absolute load that's required to grow. And we talked about this in an earlier video, how the absolute load required is different for different people. I think a good rule of thumb is double body weight bench, two and a half body weight squat, and triple body weight deadlift. And obviously those are really heavy numbers. That's pretty intimidating, right? However, it's also pretty straightforward, in my opinion, to get to those numbers. This is one of those areas where research is really important. So we have known for over 50 years now that one of the best ways to get stronger is to periodize your training. Periodize means that over time, you're increasing the intensity of your training and you're decreasing the volume. Now, in this context, intensity is not how hard you're working. That's effort. Intensity is the weight on the bar relative to your one rep max. So if you can do 405 for one rep max and you're training with 200, that's 50% intensity. You might start at 50% intensity for three sets of 10. And over time, you go up to 405 for one. You're periodizing your training. You're increasing the intensity but you're decreasing the volume. And studies have shown over and over and over again that if you train in this manner consistently for long periods of time, you will get stronger. I talk about this a lot more in my Unfuck Your Program course, but in the context of bodybuilding, that's really all you need to know. You have your program that you took, right? Whether it was the full body split or the upper lower split, and you're going to apply the concepts of periodization to it. So instead of doing your three sets of 12 each week, you're gonna do three sets of 12 one week, and the next week three sets of 10, and then three sets of eight, and then maybe four sets of six. But over time, you're increasing intensity, decreasing volume. And you're gonna do that over and over and over again until you're strong enough, whatever that means for you, to be able to grow. Now, we need to know, okay, how do I do this over and over and over again? It can't be that simple. And second, how do I know when I'm strong enough? Okay. To answer the first question, it's pretty simple. You, you can honestly do this kind of top down, um, which means you're gonna plan in advance 12 or 16, which is probably a good amount of time, 12 to 16 week blocks. And at the end of each block, you're gonna retest your one rep maximums. You're gonna see where you're at. Or if you don't wanna test one rep maxes, which is not necessary for bodybuilding, you can do an AMRAP with a heavy weight, something in 80 to 90% of your previous one rep max, and then you can kind of estimate where you're at. Either one of those methods is fine. And then the rest of the lesson, you know, the, the details below, you'll find a very simple periodized plan that you can follow over and over and over again until you're strong enough. It's what I recommend you do. Now, what's strong enough? That's a little bit trickier. There's a trade-off here. If you're constantly focused on strength, you're never gonna get to the other lessons, right, where we focus on really adding size, using that strength base. So what I recommend is that you continue to follow this periodized plan until your rate of progress stalls. It's unlikely for most of you guys that you're gonna hit a hard plateau unless you're doing this for, you know, two or three years. And if you are, props to you, man. That's, that's really impressive dedication. But instead, what you're gonna find is the first, you know, 12 or 16 week block, you're probably gonna add a decent amount. You might add 50 or 75 or even 100 pounds to your total. The second, you'll add a little bit less. You'll add, you know, maybe 30 or 40 or maybe 50. And the third, you'll add even less. You know, maybe you're only adding 10 or 20. Once you're adding less than 10% to your total over the course of a 12 to 16 week block, I recommend going on to the next phase. It's just a rule of thumb. You don't have to follow that exactly, um, but I think it's a pretty good uh, estimate of when you've gotten close enough to that absolute level of strength that you can continue to progress by getting stronger while you're also focusing on getting bigger and be successful at both at the same time.